we've got a bit of a dicey one, a bit of a nail biting time is has some of the work that we've done worked or not? I'm well, saying that I've noticed something. What is it? Whilst I was working the other day, somebody sneakily came along, smashed a hole in our wall. I need your help with something. Of course, what is it? And some people are going to be shocked and disgusted in what I've done. Hi everyone, so since Cyril's left, I've been taking things a little bit easier. Um, been preparing for tiling in the kitchen and I've been doing a little, few little bits and bobs finishing off at the pool. You can see some of the posts are in, but not all are finished off. I'll show you where I'm up to outside. So I've got most of the posts in, just missing a couple there. And I decided to stop uh, the, that one on its own because I forgot I've got the uh, kind of roof to go on this wall. So I don't want to make a mess of them. So I'm not going to put these last three along here until uh, until it's um, it's finished the wall. I have done this. I cleaned the uh, grid off and um, then poured a bit of concrete down there and just put a bit of joint on top just to finish that off. It was not a particularly interesting job, but it does finish it off nicely. And I also uh, bought the summer chairs out and just put them there so that we could uh, we could sit down and and have a bit of lunch in the sun if Anna, Anna's here, but she's not been very much this week. So you might have noticed that the tiles behind her are a slightly different colour. That's because I've, when I cleaned off the um, the joint on those, um, because they're a smoother tile, and I'll, I'll come back to that in a second, but because they're a smoother tile, they've come up a lot kind of cleaner. Around the pool, they've still got a little bit of uh, kind of dust from the, or what they call milk from the, uh, from the joint and so I'm going to have to go over that again um, but basically what I've done is I've, I've put smoother tiles towards the, the building and then around the pool I've tried to keep the tiles um, they're actually a lower quality of tile but I didn't buy them because of that I bought them because they're a bit less slippery and um, got a bit more grip on them so that's why I put a different tile around the pool. So I've got Eric coming, a friend of mine, in the uh, next five minutes. And we're just going to do a bit of electrics. And of course, because it's electrics, I'm not going to show you that on uh, YouTube, just in case anybody tries to copy what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I've got a little bit of electrics to do. And because Eric works on um, installing um, kind of uh, counters, uh, so electrical counters and things like that, He's just going to give me a quick hand with what I need to do because he's a lot better hand at it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just a bit slower on doing things like that. Plus, he's going to give me a hand popping the uh, lit the, the rounded lintel on top of the, the kind of archway on top of the um, on top of the wall going through to the other side. Um, going through to the other side of the wall. So he's going to give me a hand with that. Unfortunately, I've not got the stand, so we're not going to be able to watch that. Uh, but I'll show you tomorrow uh, once I've, I've done the joints on it. Salut, Eric. Salut, Ed. Ça va? Yeah. Bien. Yeah. Bonne journée. Ouais. Elle <laughs> commence euh, juste. Et euh, on va poser le linto en première et après faire notre Allez. boulot. Allez, c'est bon. Notre boulot électricité. Ouais, ouais. Allez, go. Okay. Mais c'est deux minutes pour poser le linto. Ouais, bien sûr. Ouais. Allez, on y va. Do you mind not videoing my property, please? <laughs> uh, no, we've got we've had a slight issue this morning, haven't we? Yes, we have. We forgot the keys. <laughs> Thank God I always keep a security set of keys in the car. But what it means is, I might have to give you a leg up and get your leg over, over there. Over the wall, yeah. I think I can do it. Yeah, normally obviously we just drive in and park up. We're just gonna have to park on the road today. But, on saying that, I've noticed something. What is it? Whilst I was working the other day, somebody sneakily came along, smashed a hole in our wall. You're joking. It's absolute disgrace. Do you want to come have a look? Yeah. 
Come on then, let me show you. Just unbelievable. Oh, is this? Yeah. What? We put the gas meter in. Oh, <laughs> well, no, I was not, expecting a no. hole in the wall. Well, he did, he put a hole in the wall. Um, no, it's not a, uh, it's not actually connected. And it's just the box for, um, for the connection. They have to do the connection during the Easter holidays when there's no kids at school because this road has to get closed. Oh. 20, 30 meter trench. Um, and so what this means is we can finish off our side of things, which is good news. I was in the house. I didn't hear anything going on. Didn't, nobody knocked at the door. They just came, did the work and, and off they went. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go in over the wall and uh, let's just show you what I've been up to. And also we've got a bit of a dicey one, a bit of a nail biting time is, has some of the work that we've done worked or not? Thoughts in the comments and don't cheat. Don't watch it and then say, oh, oh yes. Well, I thought that all along. No, put your comment now. I was getting over that wall. Hard work. Thank God you're strong. Um, so, I know it's a bit sad. I couldn't show you this because it was electricity based. But, hmm? sad as it is, I'm really proud of my little bit of... Um, basically, it's, uh, it's a connection to Earth. Mm -hmm. But this little bar here means that if there's an electrical fire, the pompier can just come and cut the bar mm -hmm. with an axe. For some unknown reason, I don't really know the logic behind it. But anyway, and so I... firemen can come and cut that, and yeah. and it just apparently helps with the fire. I don't really know or whether it's, I don't know. Oh. Anyway, and then <clears throat> basically we got this new earth cable going in. Mm -hmm. We dug a huge area out here, and then an earth rod as well. So fingers crossed that by nuking the earth like we have done, it should uh, it should be enough. If it's not, we have to start adding more earth rods, but let's just hope it's good. Let's go in. But I can see, yeah, I can see the... You've continued here. Nice. There's yeah, a... I just covered this whilst I was digging that out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's looking good. It's getting there. But it's been, been raining, hasn't it, as well? It has. And it's due to rain this week, so I'm going to carry on inside. But uh, the rain didn't stop you, and you were lucky as well that you had Eric come and help us. Yep. Do you want to see what else we did? Yes, I do. You're going to shout at me because I forgot the stand the other day. Oh no, that's a shame. Have a look. But as long as you did the work, that's what counts. Have to say it, it's looking amazing. To be honest, it was probably best that you didn't have that. Me grunting and Eric grunting. They're really heavy pieces of stone. We didn't want you to win an Oscar, did we? There we go. We just put that there just whilst it dried. Now it's dry, we can take that down. JJ, you're going to think you. There you go. Two. Oh, I need a, a bar, I mean. It's okay, you can find Actually, it. I might be able to. I don't want to bang too loud. No, yeah, really Sunday we're not allowed to make noise. Plus, I think they hear enough noise all week, poor things. That's it. Done it. So you can have the full effect. Oh, yes, that is beautiful. It's really nice. I love the arch. Good go work. That is I nice. Just about. Yeah, but it was. That is beautiful, Ed. It is really nice. I love it. Enough looking at the beauty of the arch. Oh, is it the arch? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about. <laughs> well, sure, keep us here, sure. Let's get on with some work, Anna, because yes. I want to have a quick quick bit of work here and then get off. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm doing my artistic shot at because actually from here it's looking amazing and I think this being an arch was what was meant to be we have the neighbors that have friends around so we're not gonna disturb them more but it's a this is amazing you told me you were going for a swim today no way too cold i think that might disturb disturb the neighbors with the sound hey yes i'll be screaming more we need to clean the leaves now I i'll lend you my swimming shorts I think they, oh, I, I know uh, Michelle said we, you were meant to wear red ones, but we didn't have the time to go to the shops. Shops. But who knows, who knows? I might have to find you a pair of red speedo still. So what are you up to? I know you've been doing more inside, but we'll wait for that for later on okay. or now. Yeah, uh... All I was going to do right now... Mm -hmm. you no, know I can't wait any longer. You, you, you're dying to dive in. I'm dying in. to use my little piece of kit. It's fairly expensive for what it is. What is it? Basically, it tells you if a plug has been wired correctly, first of all. So you, I know that it seems odd in France that you should be bothered if it's... I think it was... Uh, Positive on the left hand side of the little plug and negative on the right. So mm -hmm. sometimes you can get the cables switched around. I think it makes a huge amount of difference, but if you're being finicky, it needs to be that way around. And of course, me being a bit meticulous about things, I'm going to test every plug, make sure I've not made any silly mistakes and uh, cross those over. But more importantly, and mm -hmm. more security conscious wise, it tells you the um, earth, the resistance to earth. Now in France, the resistance to earth can be no more than 100 ohms. So it has mm -hmm. to be less than 100 ohms. And I, I, if it was around about 100, I'd probably just put another earth rod in just to be safe. But because of, of course we have to pass the, uh, the tests, you know, the certificate test of the electric, I need to make sure that every single plug has an earth, and that my earth is, or our earth is less than uh, 100 ohms. Okay. And also at the same time, like I said, I'll be finickety if I've got somehow made a mistake and put the phase to the right and the neutral to the left, then I'll just rectify that. Okay, let's test one. I don't even know if these plugs are on, but we'll soon find out. They're on. What does it show? Oh. So here you go, it tells you, Oh, there we go. <laughs> I got it there. Neutral phase and earth, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know whether, which way around it's going to be, but it tells you if there's a problem, a little red light will come up. Okay. So it's fine as it is. Okay, that's good. Should we check another one just to be 100% sure? I mean, yes. Let's go on a different circuit. Come on. Okay. And a completely different board as well. Mm hmm. We're in the dining room. What does the dining room say? Well, I seem to be consistent. My neutral's on the left, so I think that's right. Neutral on the left. And this one's at 49.50. 50 ohms. Okay. So it's a really good earth. So, those of you that put in comments, of course, Ed got it right. <laughs> you were right. He says all sophisticated and... I was a bit nervous about that, to be honest, but uh, oh, well. but that's good. You know what your job's going to be in, in the not too distant future? Testing all the plugs. Well, it's okay. I think Interesting that... job, that. I think, yeah, that could be my job. Okay. Let me show you what I've been doing. Yes. Because I know you've advanced a lot. Yeah, uh, but it's been boring stuff. I mean, who wants to watch paint dry, to be fair? Not me. There are other channels for that. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. A nice bright room these days. This is only undercoat. Uh-huh. We're in the kitchen. Yeah. We are in the kitchen. 
Wow, so, I am. Um, you like it? I love it. I mean, it's just. I mean, you've just like. Okay, let me explain. Finished the about over here. You've just finished the plastering, and yeah. you've just done like a little bit of this here. Of color. I put on the wall, and I didn't realize that it would be behind the plasterboard. It can't be behind the plasterboard, so I have to now take this piece off. Mm -hmm. Bring this slightly forward, just a centimeter forward and then that'll be perfect. But Eric came to help me out with a little bit of a cable problem I had here. I had too many cables, so we just moved it across a bit. Well, um, we're lucky that he yeah. came because we and needed that's the something help. Really, I don't want to show on YouTube. No, In case no. somebody thinks that they can do that to their no, own board no, in their own no. house. You know, Eric's professional. I know enough about electrics to wire a house, so there was, there was no um, security issues there, but you know, can't show things like that. Okay, uh, so all this is looking nice and neat now. This floor, I just can't stand it. It's 80s It's, it's beautiful, France. Ed. It's beautiful. 80s France at the height of this yucky color that they put there. But sadly, there's, I mean, this is still in a lot of places, but obviously we don't, we're not gonna leave this. No, we're gonna just whiz over it with some more times. Uh, okay, come on, because I've not finished, and I've got a lot to do today, before I'm, we get going. I'm coming. I do, I do, I'll have two light bulbs. Right, so, here, we've just done the same. Mm-hmm, but I see some things on the floor. Yeah, a quick rear garage, mm -hmm. so that's a lovely compound. Just because I've cut all these kind of things, these trenches before. Yes. And uh, it made a bit of a mess. Now I need to do that area, but I can't do that area until I've done a load of tiling. Yes. I'm not moving the tiles again. No. So what we're going to do is, big. we're going to do that area, mm -hmm. get that tiled, mm -hmm. and then we'll move some tiles up there and tile this area. I need your help with something. Of course, what is it? And some people are going to be shocked and disgusted in what I've done. No way, you always they do are. It. There are some people that just do not agree with what I've done. Okay, so, what I've done, I've painted this huge oak beam with white undercoat. But you had your reasons, there is no way you did something to, like, yeah, that wasn't right. It just didn't look right and the plaster from the ceiling, we couldn't get it, I couldn't get it right without uh, without it looking awkward. So what I decided to do, for example here, I filled in mm -hmm. there, so that it's a nice square edge, same on the other side in a few places, and it's just going to look a lot better. What I want to do with this though, is not leave it white. What colour do you want This it? is where you come in. And don't touch the beam because it's still not dry from yesterday. <laughs> um, I want you to match that with our units. Units. Okay, so we'll have like a grey... A grey, dark grey beam. Or uh -huh. medium, medium White, beam. yeah. Like a... And it'll go well with the, uh, with the unit fronts. Nice, I like that. I actually like the fact that it's... I don't know whether I may even want it white. We'll see. I mean, no, that, that can actually be... Well, Wait, you hold the camera. You hold the camera. That can actually be my question to the viewers. White for the beam or grey? Because I think with it being white, it just continues and your eye continues. If it's grey, it might cut a bit. I did like it when I painted it. But I think it's a good idea because this way the kitchen looks bigger and nothing splits. And I know it was wood, but if it can't be right, it's better for it to be painted. Okay, than to okay so the, um, the cracks all over there, know. they need filling in with okay. mastic, uh, so that's uh, like a silicon that you can paint. That I can do. So we can do that and then paint it white. I, I really like it too white, I um, but I thought you wanted it grey, so that's why I said no. that. I, think, I, I would like it white, but if you want grey, I'll settle. Oh, that's so diplomatic. But no, it's, I do like it white. Uh, I'm turning around this way because I want to ask you a question about this now. Uh -huh. So, of course, we're going to have plasterboard here covering this lovely piece of wall and then plasterboard around here. Come through into the frame, yes, Anna. Yes, I am. And what I want to know is... Where do we paint this? Well, I was thinking maybe just plasterboarding it. Um, and then if you want the little bit that'll hang out of the plasterboard there, just staining it. I don't know. It's really up to you. Well, either stain it or just 
Why? Well, I said, I tell you what, if we paint, if we're painting the other one, we may as well just paint it. I think white, yeah. At least it just goes together, and then it's the yeah. same thing, and it's the same. So thing. you're right. You see, oh, it's a good job I asked you that. Why? Instead of just plowing on with the work. No, but it's looking really good. I mean, I'm... especially over there, it's looking nice and bright. It is. And hopefully, it's hopefully, when everything's down, the floor's down, and everything, yes. it will. Um, it, it's going it to, I mean, should make the rest of the room quite light. I mean, when you don't put the camera towards the front there, it seems... It is It is pretty bright. light, and it's going to be even like With all these lights, like now there's only one light on that corner there. It's going yes. to look amazing. Good progress. Did you notice the addition in the salon? No. What did you put in? We've got some work cut out for us here, Emma. Oh! What, the box? Yeah. Nice. I thought we'd maybe do a time lapse so and put them all together to yeah. together together. Together together. I will be I'll try to be the best assistant. <laughs> I'll try to be a good assistant, not the best. Assistant? No. You can do it all by yourself. No, I can't. <laughs> Definitely can't. I no, don't know. We'll, we'll get on with it. Come on. Okay, let's Stop go. Stop messing because we've got too much to do. Basically, do it flush with the edge here, um, so that when we put two together, you know, two feet quite close. Mm -hmm. And then on the end, when we have these side panels that cover this white, because it's not, not the best to see all the time, uh, the white, that's going to overhang slightly, so should be uh, should be fine. So that's one down. I mean, eight more to do. I think we can do it. I think I can only learn and get better at it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easier when you two, isn't it though? Yeah. So we'll just keep rattling those off. That's just for the main kitchen though. Yeah. Not many other units after that though. No. Um, so yeah, one down, eight to go.